Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. It's lovely to see you again as usual and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope that I find you very well indeed. If you're new and this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of Scotland and it's just a part of the week where I show you what I got for the family food shop this week and as you can see, don't shoot me, we have gone back to Sainsbury's and I spent just over £70 and again, I don't know how because there is not a lot of stuff here. Mr Watts for Tea is not the biggest fan of Aldi and Lidl. You know, I love it but he just is not a fan of going to lots of different supermarkets markets for your shop and he would rather just go to one place and get it all and that's it so that's why we've ended up back but I will show you what I got so for a wee change I got some sweet potatoes I'm going to be doing a shepherd's pie but I'm going to use sweet potatoes instead of ordinary potatoes yeah I'm getting fancy and then I got some normal potatoes as well and then a couple of pots of double cream and then some parmesan cheese because I'm going to be doing a spaghetti carbonara for tea one night. Really fancy a carbonara. And then Mr. Watts for tea's bananas. And these ones I thought, you know, they're always good value. And I like their, oh, he likes the organic ones. A couple of packs of butter and these wee snacking cheeses I've been enjoying the last couple of months actually. They're really strong, but you know, they are small. So yeah, they're really tasty just out and about. Just pop one in your handbag or one into your pocket, you know, at lunchtime or whenever you fancy a wee snack. I love them. And then butter again, in case you didn't see it the first time. So a couple of packs of butter, and this is the one that we buy most of the time is the anchor one. In unless we want a wee change, you know, pick up something different. And then some parsley for a parsley sauce. Cauliflower rice, I've been getting this the last wee while. And see if you fry it, it's a lot nicer than just microwaving it. A sweetheart cabbage, and this is the spaghetti for the carbonara. This is a fresh egg pasta, and it only takes a couple of minutes simmering away, and that's ready, because it's fresh, it isn't, you know, dry. And then the garlic bread to go with the carbonara as well, and I thought this one looked nice. You know, they're not the biggest, but they are lovely. I think those are about two pounds. Ouch. Then Mr. Watts for Tea's trifles. You know, I do make my own trifle from time to time, but, you know, when I make one, it's massive. I tend to go overboard most of the time. So those are handy, just wee single serve pots. Some green beans and some baby plum tomatoes as well. I think in the States you call those grape tomatoes. And there's a girl that does my Avon and she brings a wee girl, you know, to the door whenever she's dropping my stuff off. So I thought I'd pick up a wee selection box for a wee girl. It was actually a stocking I'd ordered, but they were out of stock. So they gave me that one, but which is fine. Some pepperamis, a couple of packs of bird's eye chilies. I like to add these to everything, you know. If I I could I would have everything with chili, but I'm the only one that likes a lot of heat. It's only going to be me and Mr. Watts for tea a couple of the nights, so we'll have one of these. And I thought these looked a wee bit nicer than your average, you know, chicken Kievs because they've got ham and cheese in them. Some goose fat for the Christmas Day roast potatoes. I'm just going to put that away. And then some tonic water for Christmas Day as well. We're going to be having a wee vodka or a gin or something, and like fever tree tonic. It's a wee bit dearer, but it is nice. And because they're in the wee individual cans, you know. They, they do keep bacon lardons again this is for the spaghetti carbonara that i'm doing because it's in two packs you know you can freeze one use one and then for a wee change for the stir fry i thought i'd get some stir fry pork I haven't had stir fry pork for years and then a wee gammon joint i'll just do this in the slow cooker although it says small you know there is a good amount of meat on that and that will do four people easily and then some mince pies for the snack drawer and the ones with the icing on them are really nice these were on offer. There were quite a few biscuits on offer. So I got the four finger Kit Kats. I thought it was the two fingers, but they're actually four fingers. And then these foxes, half dipped or half coated cookies, I thought looked quite nice. And these were only a pound as well. I think they're usually about £1.70. And then some orange juice. And I've been loving cranberry juice recently. I keep ordering the ordinary cranberry juice and they keep sending me the lighter one. So I'm guessing it's hard to get. Some Pop-Tarts because I love them. But I've got to have those in moderation. Some chicken, for the, some chicken soup. Some mushroom soup. Some chicken and mushroom and tomato soup for the pantry. Some fish. I probably do a fish pie with that. And that frozen fish cooks up really nicely. A couple of packs of cat treats for Jasper. Those are the ones that he gets because they are good for his teeth and gums. Some oxo cubes, some lime juice for some cocktails we're going to be doing at Christmas. We're going to be doing some Cosmos and I will need the lime juice. 
some washing up liquid, some schlor for Christmas Day, just as a wine alternative, because obviously it's alcohol free for those that don't want the wine, and then some hot chocolate powder as well. And this is Mr. Watts for Tea's favourite. I'm not the biggest fan of hot chocolate. And then from the butcher, I picked up a pound of mince and then some link sausages as well. So we'll either have those with mashed potato and a roll or something. I don't know yet, but the option's there. So yeah, that was everything that I got in Sainsbury's and a couple of things in the butcher. Just before I leave you, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And these members are all past and present, you know. They're not necessarily current members, but I do like just to keep your name on there because you have been a past supporter. So thank you all for your, you know, your ongoing support and thank you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments for those who share the videos. And yeah, don't shoot me for going back to Sainsbury's. Like I said, it wasn't my decision. Mr. What's for Tea is not a fan of going to Aldi or Lidl and then he's got to go to Sainsbury's or we have got to go to Sainsbury's anyway or sometimes Tesco and then the butcher. So he ends up going to three or four different places which he is not a fan of. You know, I get that, especially if you're busy and you've got stuff to do. So yeah, Sainsbury's this week and yeah, their prices are definitely creeping up. But then what can you do if it's convenience you're after? Then yeah, it's Sainsbury's, I'm afraid. But thank you for coming over and watching my wee video. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you, you know, coming over and seeing what I'm up to. So hopefully I'll catch you back on Sunday for Meals of the Week and the, the, the winner of your Christmas giveaway for this year as well. So if you've entered that, mind to come back and watch Meals of the Week on Sunday. So until I see you next, take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.